Hey, it's me, Dr. G. As I've mentioned before on my COVID-themed podcasts and video blogs, each day brings new information about how hashtag science is leading all efforts to diagnose, treat, and hopefully eliminate the threat of COVID-19 in the global community. I also appreciate how researchers are not holding back on innovative thinking when designing novel approaches throughout the diagnostic and therapeutic continuum. Published last week on July 23rd in the journal BMC Infectious Diseases, researchers in Germany sought to determine whether or not trained dogs can sniff out coronavirus infections. Quick backstory. We already know that a dog's sense of smell overpowers our own by orders of magnitude. It's 10,000 to 100,000 times more powerful and accurate than a human's. Their ability to detect minute odor discrimination is so profound that trained dogs have been used to sniff out diseases like cancer, malaria, and viral infections. Now, back to the study titled Scent Dog Identification of Samples from COVID-19 Patients, a pilot study. In a joint effort piloted by the University of Veterinary Medicine, Hanover, the Hanover Medical School, and the German Armed Forces, a total of eight dogs were trained for a full week and sniffed the saliva or tracheobronchial secretions of 1,012 people who were either healthy or infected with COVID-19. A random distribution of the samples infected with COVID-19 took place and neither the dog handlers nor the researchers on site knew which ones were positive. The study authors concluded that these properly trained dogs were able to distinguish between samples infected with SARS-CoV-2 and non-infected samples with an astounding 94% success rate. The rationale behind this observation centers on the thought that dogs are able to smell the metabolic changes that occur in COVID-19 patients. The authors also believe that dogs could be reliably used in real time as an alternative or in addition to laboratory testing, quote, thus helping to prevent further spreading of the virus or further outbreaks, end quote. Quote, this could be especially helpful in areas of mass gatherings, such as airports or sporting events, or even in countries that do not have the robust infrastructure for large-scale testing. Now, we can't get too excited and start looking for dog trainers online to train our family pets. This was a pilot study that has some major limitations that must be addressed in future studies. But who would have known that man's best friend could have a possible role to play in the fight against COVID-19? For more information about my various COVID-themed podcasts, visit my website at www.drmarkgomez.com or check out Season 3 of To Your Health with Dr. G on my Facebook page. Peace out.